According to the latest forecast by the International Federation of Robotics, IFR, there will be 1.4 million new industrial robots in the world by 2019. Just until the end of 2016, which represents a veritable boom, it expects 290,000 industrial robots to be newly installed. Pleased that what we see in terms of the trajectory, it is the most exciting time in the last 30 years that I've been involved in the industry. And you see where the, the industry is going to 2.6 million that will be in operation by 2019. And to give you a picture of what that looks like, from 1990 to 2005, each five-year period averaged about 20% growth. The last five-year period was 54% growth. And this coming five-year period will follow that same trajectory, as you can see here, about 59% growth. So that trajectory line is very, very exciting for our industry. As a general rule, automation is a major competitive factor, both for classic manufacturing corporations and, increasingly so, for small and medium-sized companies. Industrial robots are also the most important uh, component uh, with regards to uh, digital manufacturing because you can reprogram your production line instead of rebuilding it to, to be able to do another part or different parts. You can see the increasing need of robotics in all industries. So as we ind indicated just a second ago, the automotive industry is certainly one of the big drivers, but we see the increasing uh, volume orders in electronics across the world. The um, electronics industry is actually rivaling the automotive industry in terms of acquiring robots in bigger volume chunks. And then general industry, so it's not just in those, we're seeing growth in other industries. So in addition, the food industry, aerospace, surgical, plastics, medical, they're all seeing growth in those markets. So we know this will continue. Industrial automation thus moves forward with increasing velocity. The European Union is thereby among the front runners. 14 of a total of 22 nations with an above average robot density are members of the EU. The industry thereby looks particularly closely at Eastern European countries. But there's a more, more aggressive growth in other parts of Europe, uh, in the, the eastern parts of Europe. And the strongest growth there are in Central and Eastern European countries, and the rise in sales was about 25% in 2015. The leaders in those areas are Czech Republic and Poland. And between 2010 and 2015, the annual growth was pretty significant, 40% in the Czech Republic, and in Poland, 26%. Also in 2016, a similar growth grade is forecasted roughly 29%. That's a, certainly a positive trend and we expect that to continue. China is currently experiencing the highest growth rates. In 2019, 40% of all robots sold on the planet will be industrial robots sold in China. A lot of that is driven by the Chinese uh, government support to a strategy to be an automation leader in, leader in the world. And in fact, if you look prior to, to 2010, it was virtually non-existent. So that's a very, very high, quick trajectory over a very short, short period of time. South Korea, Japan and the United States are also on course for success. One thing becomes evident. The industry places particular emphasis on human-robot collaboration, for this field holds many opportunities. It's an important part for, um, for robotics because robots can interact with people. Um, even if humans have skills which cannot be copied by machines, um, machines also have skills which cannot be easily copied by robots, just lifting weight, for example, and stuff. Um, this symbiotic human-robot collaboration, I think, has a big future and we're getting there, we're getting more and more examples where, where this works. Furthermore, industrial robots are veritable job drivers, as the IFR's current figures attest. More specifically, from 2010 to 2015, and this is, this is historically correct in the, in, in the US market, if you look at every period where robots increase, unemployment goes down. When unemployment goes up, robots go down. And that's historically correct in, in every period in the last 30, 40 years. The robot industry is also well prepared for the future. Its latest trends include simplified applications, lightweight engineering robots and modular robots, the development of the further linking of the real world in the factories and the virtual world in line with Industry 4.0 and the Internet of Things is thus proceeding at a steady pace.